Hi, I'm Julio Ramon here at the ICANN Tech Corner, and today we're going to talk about the tilt of gravity. So the tilt of gravity is a three-axis handheld gimbal system designed for cinema cameras. It's constructed out of aluminum and carbon fiber. The whole system weighs around 6.1 pounds, and it has a payload capacity of up to 33 pounds. The gimbal kit comes with all the essential accessories. It comes with a 2200 milliamp hour battery, a stand that can be mounted onto a C stand or used on a tabletop. The quick release plate also features a removable rod adapter that comes with two 15 millimeter four inch rods. The kit also comes with two power modules, one with four D taps, the other with two D taps and a four pin limo cable. Also included are four of these crossbar accessory mounts with two quarter 20 inch holes drilled into each one. And also comes with two SDI cables. And finally, the best feature of the Tilted Gravity is the motion sensing control system. It comes with a crossbar and two rubberized hand grips, a motion transmitter, a place to mount your monitor, and it's all powered through a pro battery located on the back. You can either mount V-mount or Anton Bauer Gold mount. And all of this comes protected in a two-layer foam tray system packed neatly in a rolling hard case. On the gravity, the camera is mounted through a quick-release base plate system. It's also secured through a shoe mount style adapter located on the top rail. As you can see, the camera that we have mounted right now is the Sony FS7 with a Metabones adapter, 24mm Canon Sydney Prime, and two wireless lens control motors. This entire setup weighs around 9.5 to 10 pounds. The wireless lens control motors are being powered through the DTAP module located on the top, which is also powering the 7 inch bond monitor that we have mounted on the crossbar using the crossbar accessory mounts. The monitor is receiving an SDI video signal that is being output through the SDI port located behind the yaw motor. Internally, a cable runs through the gimbal down all the way coming out of the cradle that goes directly into the back of the camera. Now in order to bounce your camera, there are several knobs to make your adjustments. Located underneath the base plate is a knob that will move the camera forward and back to bounce the pitch. Now to bounce the pitch along the vertical axis, two knobs below will move the camera up and down for you to achieve the, your balance. Another knob located on the bottom crossbar will move the camera side to side to balance the roll. Now finally, a knob located on the back of the gimbal will adjust the entire system forward or back so you can balance your yaw. Now with larger cameras, you may have trouble balancing. It's a common issue with most gimbals, but the tilt of gravity actually has a solution for this. On the side of the gravity, the rails on the side can actually be extended out about four inches, giving you extra space and extra room for balancing. Just loosen these screws, two on each side, extend the rails out, tighten them back into place, and you now have about four inches of extra space to adjust and balance your camera. If you're also having trouble balancing the roll, you can make additional adjustments in the back. By loosening these four screws on the back of the gimbal, you can slide the entire cradle left or right to achieve that perfect balance on a big wide camera. So now that we have our camera balanced, we'll go ahead and turn on the gimbal. So we'll go ahead and link up to the gravity, go into our menus, We will initiate the connection. And now that we're synced, we will turn it on. And as you can see, we now have a motion control system that allows us to control the gimbal using this device. 
Now right now I have it mounted to a tripod, which is a nice option to have. But you can also remove it remove it and go handheld. So there you have it. This is the Tilt of Gravity. It's available now and you can go visit us for more information at iCanCorp.com.